much. <laughs> Got a bad light switch here. When I push it, it doesn't work. Push it harder, tap on it, and I can get it to work. But just a lemon, it happens. It happens with these. Uh, got power on right now, so I'm gonna need to turn off the breaker when I do this. We're just gonna prep it, get it ready. This is just changing out a regular rocker switch. It just makes or breaks the hot connection, so it's actually like you know one continuous wire. This switch is, you know, breaks, makes and breaks the connection. Okay. I mean, sometimes you can change. You know, if it was quick wired, you can change it to side wired if that was what was causing it. This one is out a little bit, and to make it safer, we'll just turn off the power. And to make it even safer than that, you could, um, you know, use a circuit alert device and prove that power is off. Um, but I know my units and, and so I've, you know, I know that this is it. Look at how loose that was. I bet you that's all this one is, is we can just side wire it. It just wasn't making a good connection. I did bring a new one. A lot of times with these, it's just better to just change it to the new one. But just for the sake of, you know, what if you didn't have a new one at home or didn't want to go to the store and buy another one. Okay. The bottom one seems good. I'm just not going to put the set screws in yet. We'll test this out. And now we're going to see. Yeah. Still very glitchy. So we'll change it. No biggie. So I gotta turn the breakers back out. And it's probably better for me to wait about five minutes for the air condition. Anyway, um, got my new rocker here. And that's what I was saying. So a lot of times with these, it's just better to change them. But it is what it is. This has a little quick release port. You need something sharp to poke in there. To release it right there. Okay. And again, you could try side wiring both of them, but I am just going for changing the switch. Anyway. A lot of lemons. Uh, with these, you want to watch for the top deal to be on the top. You also, when you turn your screw, you want to turn it the same way that the screw is going to turn in. That way, it pulls the screw and turns it in as it as it connects. So it has a tendency to tighten the wire around as you as you put it on. You can see the neutral back there, but it's just bypassing. Switch usually doesn't have a neutral hooked up. A lot of times it doesn't have a ground hooked up either, especially if you have plastic boxes. It's a physical ground. Okay, here's our new one. And of course a, a drill can speed things up here, but it's a pretty fast job anyway.
and a cover. And it's kind of not a bad idea to test it out before putting the cover on, but I'm putting it on first anyway. I like to set the screws nice and vertical. Gives a nice finished look. Got the outlet body just just nicely seated there. This one might be a little too tight. I'll give it another round this way. Alright. And now we can turn the breakers back on. I think that gave the AC long enough. Okay. Switch is on now. And now we'll put, turn it off. Yay! All fixed, just like it should be. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance, over now. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out the Kung Fu Maintenance ebook. The link is in the description below the video. Along with the tools and parts used in a lot of the videos, you can find in the video descriptions below.